Hi everyone, I'm Jessica back for another test of a recipe from the Mount Vernon Farmers Market Cookbook. Uh, I'm really excited to try this one today. I saw it and I just thought, well, that is so unique. We're gonna have to go through it. It's called White Gazpacho and it's by Sarah Wagstaff. And I think it's gonna come together for a nice, quick, tasty lunch. So I haven't tried this one yet, so you will get my honest feedback at the end. Uh, first, I have taken about two cups of white stale bread, taken the crusts off and cubed it. This is just gonna go straight in the blender. And then I have a cup of cucumber that's been peeled and chopped. I took the seeds out too. And then we've got a cup and a half of veggie stock. That's gonna go right in. I have a cup of green seedless grapes. Next, about a quarter cup of slivered almonds. A quarter cup of almond butter. I'm just gonna eyeball this, but I think we can get pretty close. I only have about a quarter cup left anyway, so it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> there we go. And then three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And two tablespoons of sherry vinegar. One, two. One clove of garlic. And finally, a half teaspoon of salt. When I looked at all the ingredients on this, I felt really excited just about the balance of sweet and salty and sort of the fresh ingredients in there. So now I'm just getting my lid on my blender and I'm gonna blend it up. <laughs> Gazpacho is a soup served cold, so that is literally all the work we have to do. The recipe suggests uh, putting it in a shallow bowl and pouring it through a strainer and then kind of pushing down to get the pulp to release all of its flavor. So I am going to do what it says. Take a ladle and push down through the strainer to kind of get all that flavor out. All right, it's good to go. You can see I've got a little bit of pulp left in here, but I've pushed all the liquid out. And then to finish this off, I'm just gonna top with a few more slivered almonds. and a few more of those green seedless grapes that I've cut in half. And that is my soup. Isn't that pretty? I forgot to grab a spoon, so let me do that. And I'll tell you guys what I think. All right. Oh, wow. That is so delicious. It's not quite as sweet as I expect, expected. The vinegar gives it a really nice flavor. And I like the way the almond butter and the, the grapes kind of sneak in there a little bit just so it's not totally savory, but this is definitely a more savory soup than I would have expected. Give this one a try. It is great and very unique. I'm sure everyone will love it. Enjoy, happy cooking, bye.